Smile face trucker. What's up? What's up with you, man? Not much. Look at look at here. Look at here. I, I'm I'm not gonna try and keep you too long. All right, all right, because we're 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 being recorded right now, so I'm not gonna keep you too long. All right. Okay. Because you you are a fucking rock star right now, yo. I, I mean, am? you yeah, you are. You you are <laughs> a fucking rock fucking star right now, man. I mean, I mean, that, listen, listen. Have you ever thought when me and you first talked and you got terminated from what was that? Martin? That that was Martin, yeah. right? When you got mm-hmm. ter- when you got terminated from Martin way back in the day and you sitting in there and you going from trucking company to trucking company because of because you getting, you know, you getting let go because of uh you being a social media uh a social media I did you ever in your life would think that a company will pick you up and and give you the accolade sorely for your social media? <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, nope. How I mean, how long have you been with Variant all together? Uh, seven months. Seven months, and prior to that, you was with U.S. Express for how long? Uh, uh let's see. Five months. All right. So, Four months. so let's let's say a year all together with the with the with the parent company, because as we spoke before, Variant is a part of U.S. Express, but it's not a part of U.S. Express. Right. Explain that. Make sure that everybody understands that. Um, U.S. Express basically powers Variant. It's like the investor. They invested in Variant. So. We get to use them for all of the stuff, to save money, so we can put more money in the driver's pocket. So we use them for the shop and payroll and HR and the DLT number, and which is, you know, of course, everybody knows it's costly to have that if you're starting a trucking company. But since we have U.S. Express backing us with all of those things, then all the money that we have, that Variant has, gets to be put in the driver's pocket. They're that why, that's why we can make more money and do more things with it. Now, did you did you expect did did you expect all of this accolades to come your way from from Variant? Did you expect all of this? I don't even know what accolades you're talking about. Like what accolades. I mean, I mean, listen, man, we 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 about to talk about we about to talk about the the she trucking expo. We I, I seen the award. I seen the pictures. You got your own little standalone. Like yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I did didn't you... expect that. That that was totally unexpected. I didn't grasp the concept when they first told me about, you know, building my own squad. But I'm always extra anyway, so I'm like, if I'm going to build my squad, and it's my squad, and I'm going to name it, and I'm going to go build it, and it's going to be a, a real for real squad. Man, it, it, and, yeah. you, and, and you did not expect none of this. I did not. But All see, right. I learned something about variants since I've been here, which was the reason, the name, the naming means different mm-hmm. variante um it means different so they do things differently than other trucking companies and this is what they always tell people we are different we that's the reason why we go so hard because we want to show the drivers how different we are and how we treat the drivers different how your pay is different everything about trucking with the variant is different so All yeah right. All right, so enough of var- uh, uh, enough of variant because if you guys want to know more about variant, me and Dialface, we talked we we talked in depth uh, about variant in uh, in the previous uh, live feed. So go back and uh, check that out. But uh, Dialface, this past weekend, woo, the she trucking expo. I mean, you guys. Yes. Uh, now, now before before I get into all of that. How long have you been involved with she trucking? Because I I could assume that you you wasn't involved with she trucking uh, prior to getting involved with them. Now I got involved recently. I knew Sheree for a minute, but I got involved um, probably since I don't even remember actually. All right. Uh, I, I I applied for. I went into the group a while ago, but I didn't really start really doing things within the group until I started with Variant. All right, so was she trucking, man? You know, and everybody let everybody know she trucking is the largest 
uh, female trucking group on uh, on Facebook right now that was created by the lovely Sheree Moore. Uh, this past uh, was the first annual She Trucking Espo, right? Yes. How was it? Awesome sauce. It was so awesome. Like it felt fulfilling. Like you know how you go to church and you get fed the word and you get full off the word. I got full off networking at the She Trucking Expo. How many? It was everything and, and everything that I expected it to be and, and anticipated it to be. Now this was a three day event, right? Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday was the cookout. All right. Now I heard that the cookout was was moved from uh from a nut from one place to another, but we'll talk about that in a second. But the the whole experience with uh with with an all female uh trucking expo. Um, it wasn't an all female trucking expo. Men were welcome to come too. Well, this is I think the it first just threw people off because it says she trucking. But this was the first trucking expo that was put together by a female. Though. By a woman, yeah, yeah, right. definitely a black one at that. Right, right, right. So with 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 that said. You know, with the networking and everything, who who was all there? Who who was all there? Oh man, I don't remember names, but um, we have the box truck coach was there. Um, he teaches you how to, you know, be successful with being a box truck or van operator, like you know the the, the vans or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um. Leading Ladies of Logistics was there. Uh, well, let me help you out. Shoot. Let me help you out. What what <laughs> what was some of the was there was there any major companies other than Variant there? Uh, Prime Link was there. Prime King Logistics was there. Prime what? Link. What? Prime Link. Oh, Prime Link. Yeah. Oh, not Prime Inc. No, Prime Link. Oh, damn it. Man. Um, I, I, you see how excited I got? Like, Snyder yo. was there. Snyder? What? Yep. Truck and Hustle was there, the largest podcast, one of the largest. Um, shoot. Who else? Who else was there? Uh, Jerry, um, LLTR Recruiting with Jerry, Miss Jerry Banks. They okay. were there. Okay. So throughout the throughout the three day event, uh was this open to the public or was it just more of a yes. trucking community? It was open to everybody. All right. So, you know, Friday, you know, I, I, I have done a lot of uh a lot of expos, you know, um and I know like the first day is was you know, the first day is kinda slow and it pits it pits <laughs> up. But but the first day uh, all the way to Sunday, the the cookout between Friday and Saturday. Which one of those two days uh, was 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 jumping? Saturday. Saturday. Saturday was definitely jumping. I mean, it went by so fast. <laughs> like I'm like, it's already time to go. I didn't even get to do everything that I had planned on doing. Like I'm mad that it was it was already over. So do you think uh do, do you think uh would there be a second one? Do Heck you think? yeah, there's gonna be a second one, yes. Oh, it's okay. gonna be even bigger and better. FMCSA even made, wrote a column about the expo. What? Okay. Yes. So I see it, it I, I see it's all They gave her, her own they gave her, her own two um two days. Um September seventeenth and eighteenth are she trucking days in Chattanooga. They wow. proclaimed seventeenth and eighteenth of September she trucking days wow congratulations to uh sheree moore for That's that how big man. it was all right so yeah. um so doing so doing the espo uh you know of course everybody came over there they asked questions and stuff like that what were some of the what were some of the questions uh throughout the espo that you can remember that was asked of you um, I didn't get too many questions about the expo. Most of it was about variant. Yeah, that's what I'm saying um, about variant. Oh, just what is variant? What is variant? What are, do you own your own trucking company? Um, mostly is do I own my own trucking company or am I owner operator? And what is variant? All right, all right. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So, uh, back to the she trucking group. Uh, you you became more of a 
how can I say you you became more of a presence in the uh, in the she trucking group. Um, how did now I know you said that, you know, you knew Sheree for a long time and, you know, you just got into it. But what made you what made you, you know, want to be part of the administrative team of uh, she trucking? Well, I started out as a mentor and I was just within the group. There's so many people asking questions about what is what is she trucking or just general questions like what do I do when I get on the truck with a trainer? How should I pack? How do you get your CDL permit? How do you get your permit? Like just all these questions that I felt like I could mentor to these women. So I started that way. Mm -hmm. And then um, and I did so well with it like me and Sheree would be on like Clubhouse or something like that and people would ask questions and Sheree, her, she's getting stretched so many different ways. So I'll answer the questions for them, for her, on her behalf. And she thought it was awesome the way I answered the questions and how I handled myself. So she decided to make me the brand ambassador of She Trucking. Okay. And that's how that that's how that came about. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Dial face trucker, man. You 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 came a long way. So let's uh I'm I'm gonna let you know. I, I, I did a reaction video to your uh <laughs> to your uh your 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 one chip challenge. Oh I'm, wow! I'm, and you can't forget about the gala. Don't forget about the she trucking gala. Yeah, awesome too. Yeah, I, I I did a I did a reaction uh, video. Oh I my gosh! I haven't put that, I haven't put it together <laughs> yet, but um, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, you say that the, you say don't forget about the gala. What what what's that? What what was that? The she trucking um, expo gala. It was a black tie gala mm -hmm. where you came and showed up and showed out, and it was beautiful. It was hosted on the Southern Bell, which is a boat. Mm -hmm. So we did a dinner, then we had a boat ride on the Tennessee River. I don't know exactly what river it was, but it was in Chattanooga. It was so beautiful. Like you get dressed up and all sexy and pretty, and the man got all dapper and like you know. I was walking around thinking, you do not, you cannot tell nobody in this room drive trucks at all. Did the you, whole weekend, you couldn't hey, tell. You couldn't hey, tell who drive trucks and who didn't. Dow face. Did did you find? Huh? Did you find a man? Did, I did not. Did, oh <laughs> no. Oh, you said all the men did not look like trucker men, and you 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 didn't find a man. I mean, I saw a lot of cute men in there. Yeah. Yeah. Did you I shoot your shot? I had my eye on a couple of them, but did, did no, it's shot? not my job to shoot my shot. What? What do you mean it's not your job to shoot your shot? What's that? What? What do you mean it's not your job? I'm to not. Shoot? I'm not supposed to pursue a man. The, the man is supposed to find his husband. I'm supposed to be found, not pursue. Not. You mean find his wife, looking. not husband. Yeah, husband. I mean, you're right. Yeah. You're right. A man is supposed to find his wife. So I'm, to, I'm supposed to be found. And while I'm waiting to be found, I'm supposed to be preparing myself to be a wife and to be found. Huh. So maybe he didn't come because maybe God, God is not done with me yet. Huh. I, haven't, I, haven't heard of, I haven't heard of it that way. Hmm. Yeah, a woman, a man finds his wife. Yeah, I haven't heard of it that way. Okay, okay. Anyway... <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> but I was looking good, though. I mean, I some people did holler; they was complimenting a lot, so All I felt right. really good. So uh, let's let's talk about that one chip challenge, man. What what the hell? Man. What, what was what, what was going through y'all idea? Now, Aubrey, you know, Aubrey, I'm kind of I'm 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 kind of jaded. I, I I think I think Aubrey ghosted me. Um. We were Man, supposed Aubrey to... didn't ghost you. I told we were just talking before you called, and nah, she was like, "She ghosted." She was like, "He don't never call nah, me back." Nah, 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 nah. I said I would call nah, her on three way nah, if you wanted nah, me to. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, uh. Nah, she ghosted me, man. We we got together. We we were supposed to get together before the event. Uh, we were supposed to get together. Uh, unfortunately she got sick and that was, you know, that was understandable because I got sick early, you know, early this year and, uh, she got sick. She came down with COVID. Um, we, it was, and she's a vice president of she trucking. So yeah, we if was, she goes that she was probably a good reason because yeah, they had her we, running around ragged. Yeah. Like I said, we, uh, we were supposed to get together and she was going to come on to promote the, uh, promote the event because Sheree came on 
uh, prior to promote the event, and she was supposed to come on to promote the event, and uh, the young lady China Trap uh, from TikTok, uh, she was supposed to come on and uh and chop it up with me as well but we we kept going back and forth back and forth back and forth and then we just lost all communications after that but uh but it's yeah. all it's, it's all good though she i know it wasn't it wasn't malicious like the closer the event got the more she got because charade she's charade's right hand woman right mm -hmm. so everything that charade needed to get done and she didn't she couldn't do it she's just one person she had to delegate that to to aubrey Right. And and then Aubrey is still dealing with King Logistics and her company. She's an owner operator. And mm -hmm. then she got her boyfriend to deal with and then she got her kids. So she had a lot of stuff going on. She had a lot of stuff on her plate. Right, right, right. And, and it's all good. It's all good. But uh but but overall uh, a success. She trucking Nespo? Su success? Yes. Definitely a success. And most definitely. And this and your success with uh Variant Wow. Definitely a success. She trucking, um they CNN did a piece on she trucking. Yeah. And I, um they premiered everything right after the expo. All right, that's it what's definitely up. Man. A well congratulations, ladies. Uh you know, you you know, you guys are are becoming more and more present in uh in a in an industry that used to be dominated by uh all men. You know, there's there's uh there's a few ladies that shouldn't be in the industry, but for the ones that are in the industry, you guys are showing that you know you guys could come out and make the hard sacrifice just like a man can, uh, in in this trucking industry. Yeah. So that's definitely so trying that's, to get more women in the industry. So that's what's up, man. Dial face trucker, everybody. Yo, dial face, man. Thanks again for being a friend of Thank uh, you. of of the podcast. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for always coming on when I reach out to you. So definitely, uh, definitely, um, yo, much much success coming out to you, yo. So law school still? We're yeah, it's still going. Hmm. I'm still gonna. I'm gonna still take my LSAT and get that out the way. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, okay. Just be successful. It. If you want to be a millionaire and you want to be successful, you got to have your hand in multiple pots, <laughs> multiple businesses. <laughs> you don't have to just be. I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket. I'm gonna have multiple everything. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Dial face making the killing out here. Where you at right now, Dial face? Where, where you about to? Where you, you you back on the road? You still in the hotel? What's yeah, up? Yeah, I'm on my way home. I'm in I'm in Florida right now, headed home. Okay, so you're gonna be home for a couple of days, and then you're gonna get back out there for how long? Uh, probably about a month till Thanksgiving. I'm just okay. going home for my son's birthday. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Dial face trucker, everybody. Yo, Dial face. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh and yeah, we'll get Thank back you. we'll get back together again. Okay. All right, holler at you later. All righty, bye bye.